The United Nations human rights experts have now expressed grave concerns over China's collective repression of its population, especially in the Xinjiang and Tibet regions. The UN has asked the Chinese government to take decisive measures to protect fundamental freedoms in the country. The global body said that the persecution of Uyghur Muslims and Tibetans was a matter of grave concern. And the UN also took note of the detention of lawyers and the disappearances of human rights activists across China. The body also expressed its concern over the crackdown on journalists and medical workers who criticized the Chinese government's handling of the pandemic. Many critics have been charged with spreading misinformation and disrupting public order. Hong Kong also featured in the UN report. The United Nations denounced the repression of pro-democracy protests in the city and it took serious note of impunity for excessive use of force by the police, the alleged use of chemical agents against protesters as well as the sexual harassment of female demonstrators in police stations. Now for more details on this story, Laurel Chor, a journalist based in Hong Kong, is joining us live. Laurel, thanks so much for joining us. Now this is certainly a significant development. Independent UN rights experts are calling for decisive measures to protest fundamental freedoms in China, specifically to counter the repression in Xinjiang and Tibet. The UN report also mentions Hong Kong. So what could these measures be and how will the Xi administration respond in the event of a crackdown on its policies, especially when it's come to its control over Hong Kong? Uh, well, it's unclear what the UN is actually going to do about this. Of course, the UN can put out statements condemning what is happening in Hong Kong and China, but it doesn't actually, might not actually mean anything. But on the other hand, what we have seen recently is that uh, the U.S. government, Marco Rubio, the foreign secretary has uh, declared that they're going to curb visas for Chinese officials that they deem uh, responsible for what's happening in Hong Kong. So that's an actual concrete step that we're seeing from the international community. Right. Now, Chinese policies are notorious for their surveillance tactics as well as for withholding information, especially when it comes to this pandemic. And we also know about its new security legislation giving it control over Hong Kong. So could these measures from UN experts bring about any real change when it comes to freedom of expression in China? Well, the national security law is probably going to be passed this month. Uh, we don't even know what's in the law. No one in Hong Kong has seen the actual draft. Um, so no one in Hong Kong will actually see and know what this law entails until it's already passed. So without knowing what's in the law and without actual concrete measures from the national community that will actually put enough pressure on China to do, to change this um, the law to stop it from happening, it's uh, it, the law is probably going to pass, even though no one actually knows what's in it besides Chinese officials. Right. Now, my final question before we wrap up this, uh, this discussion. Now, UN experts have also expressed an alarm over allegations of forced labor in some sectors, interferences with cybersecurity law, as well as sedition laws, which are applicable in Hong Kong. Even the US has now stepped up, as you mentioned, in support of Hong Kong's autonomy with its new visa restrictions against Chinese officials. But how is the mood in Hong Kong? Are people worried that China will get its way eventually? Well, like I said, the law is probably going to pass. People are definitely very afraid. People are looking to leave Hong Kong. We're seeing spikes in searches for immigration to other countries. People are considering even applying for asylum. So a lot of people are making backup plans. And it's not just regular people. I think the business community, the legal community, the academic community, everyone is worried about how it's going to affect them personally, even though Again, we have no idea what's in the law, but it's definitely going to be bad news for Hong Kong's transparency and uh, openness within society. All right, Laurel, thank you so much for joining us and for all your inputs on this story.